Now in this tutorial, we are going to make a JBL speaker. Actually, it's this speaker right here. And we are going to model that in Blender right now. So let's delete all of this and let's bring in a cube and then bring it upwards, holding control. And now we can set this to 3D cursor, scale it up a bit, S and Y. I'm not going to use any reference in this case. I'm just going to do it by eye. Something like this should be fine for this speaker. Control A, scale. Now I'm going to add a loop cut right over here. I'm going to add a loop cut right over there. Add a loop cut right over there, over there and over there. Over here, over here. And now we've got some pretty neat looking cubes. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm going to subdivide this just once. Then I will select all of this right over here and I will do the same for the backside. Press on I, inset it. Alt E, extrude faces along normals and bring it inwards just a little bit. And now if we add a subdivision surface modifier, it will look like this. And we can also make a circle right here, which is where the cables go into, somewhere in the middle, just a little bit lower than the middle. So I'm going to select both of this, press I, inset this and set this to medium point. S, Z, make sure this is a pretty cool looking square. Loop tools, circle, now it's a circle. Delete this, faces, select this entire edge holding Alt. E and bring it on the Y axis to the inside. And I think it should be a bit smaller as well. It's a pretty big hole right now. So I'm going to select both of these lines and make it the size that I think is correct. But if we do this, it's scaling towards the inside. So what we need to do is select individual origins like so. And now it will only scale on its own axis. Something like this should be fine. Then I will select only the outer edge right over there. Press on the search menu, grid fill, and fill this up. Press on I to make it a bit sharper. And then we are going to add this right over here. And now we've got a pretty cool looking circle already. Could be a bit stronger. So I'm going to select this, shift E, and make sure that it looks like this. I will make a loop cut, bring it over here. Select this entire part. Press I, inset it like so. Alt E, extrude faces along normals. And now it looks like this, which is just a little bit more to the reference that we have. And now we can also make the other hole where like a micro USB is entering into. So I will make it right over here. I'm going to select this, press on I and inset this like so. S and X to bring it closer to each other. So I'm going to select this vertice and that vertice, scale it on the Z axis using the median point once again, like so. Then I will take this one and bring it towards the right side just a little bit. And now this shape is probably correct. So I'm going to delete it. E, Y, bring it inwards somewhere over here. Grid fill, I, make it sharp again. So press I once again, bring it over there. E, bring it outwards like so. Not too far, just somewhere over here. Press I once again to make it a bit sharper. Then make a loop cut right around here, bring it over there and do the same towards the other side. But once again, it's a bit too big. I'm going to select this edge, shift E, see what it looks like and definitely not what we want to do. So control plus, now we've got all of that selected. And now when we press shift E, it will look a bit more like the original, but we shouldn't do too much of this. Now it's a bit too big. So I'm going to control plus, control plus, then deselect this S and X, S and Z, but I don't think this geometry looks all too good. So I'm going to remove the shift E just a little bit and bring in some more geometry right over here. So it looks like this. I'm going to make one right over here, control R, bring it upwards, make one over here as well, control R, bring it downwards. And now I will select all of this on the inside, control plus, 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 until we get all of this, shift E and undo that. So now it looks pretty good, but I still think it's a bit too big. So I'm going to select all of this, control plus, plus, and scale it inwards just a little bit more GX and make sure that it is a bit smaller. And now we've got this little hole for the USB to go in as well. Now there's also some holes on this side so we could create those if we want. So let's add these two boxes right over here. I inset X, delete the faces, pretty decent. So let's select all of this. E, Y, bring it inwards, grid fill like so. I, make sure it's flat, select this and bring it closer together, bring it closer together. Select the insides, control plus, plus. Then deselect these edges right over here. And let's make this just a little bit smaller on the X axis like so. And now we've got those holes as well. So now all we have to do is make some loop cuts right over here to make it sharper on the creases, on the edges. Do the same on the bottom side right over here and do the same for all of these edges, like so and like so. Select this entire edge as well, control B, give it a small bevel like so. Now that's it for the modeling tutorial and I will see you in the next one where we are going to use some advanced texturing methods in order to make this texture.